Welcome, it's August 22nd, 2024. This is the H2B Report. My name is Damian DeNoble. On this video, which is really brief, we go over the numbers, where the H2B cap is at, where we can expect it to be, and then I'll talk to you today, in addition to that, about what you should be thinking about if you're an April 1st filer, or if you're thinking about the in-between seasons, which we'll get to in a minute, and those are where you might have a December or a potential January start. So let's get to the numbers. For right now, if we're looking at flag, uh, which is flag.dol.gov. If you go under the resources tab and then under the resources tab, you go to processing times, you can come down to a chart which shows you how far along the Department of Labor is in processing DOL certifications. Remember, for each season, and right now we're in the October 2024-2025 season, so this is the first half of the fiscal year season for 2024-2025, 33,000 visas are officially available for the H2B program for new workers with a float, which is something you'll learn about on this channel, I talk about it a lot, with a float where the USCIS adds an unofficial additional number of visas to those that are available. There end up being around 37,000 new visas given out per season. So with that in mind, 37,000, right now the Department of Labor has certified 22,673 workers for the coming season. So there's about 15,000 workers yet to be certified. So if you're certified now and you apply for a visa, you will get that visa, assuming that the USCIS approves it. The remaining number of workers right now from Group A and Group B, that being said, is at 20.5 20, thousand. So that means that not all of those workers are going to get through. If you still haven't received your notice of acceptance at this point, that I think you are probably going to be looking at returning workers that you, for your business. Okay, so if you're still in an NOD, or you, you know, if you had received notice of deficiency, didn't receive notice of acceptance yet, you're looking at returning workers 100% guaranteed. Uh, we talked about on the last report that the projected cap is September 18th. That's still the projected cap that may move back, that may move forward. When I say move back, I mean it might uh, be earlier than expected, move forward, it might be later than expected, but if anything, I think it's likely to move back and not forward. So if you are going to have to get returning workers because you don't have a notice of acceptance yet, remember, that's perfectly fine if you're filing for an extension, um, and that's perfectly fine if you're pulling from a very common profession like landscapers that are available year-round uh, in terms of getting returning workers. A returning worker is somebody who had H2B certification the previous three years. If you file July 7th through 13th, July 14th through 20th, and you have a notice of acceptance, because there's these other ones pending, you might also still be able to get a new worker if you got that notice of acceptance about a, a week or two ago. So if you look at July 7th through 13th, July 14th through 20, you know, there's about 4,000 workers pending. Some of those, if they received notice of acceptance a week ago or before, may actually get a new worker. You know, we're, we're far enough back, okay? So what, you sh what should you be thinking about if you're thinking about April 1st? If you're thinking about April 1st, it's a good time now to start filing your prevailing wages. There's going to be a reset on August 28th of the flag portal. So if you have a prevailing wage that's like in a draft form, you should go ahead and submit it. Because if you have any outstanding drafts, uh, still in the portal on August 28th, they're going to get deleted and you'll have to start over. So uh, prevailing wages you can start submitting now for the April 1st cycle. They're, they're good usually for six months, so they're going to take you through that January 1st to 3rd filing period, January 1st to 3rd, 2025. The next thing that uh, you can be thinking about is if you are an employer that's looking to get an additional allotment of workers, so usually around November, late November of the last two years, the Department of Labor and USCIS will reduce, excuse me, the USCIS, Department of Homeland Security, releases additional worker visas from target countries. Last year it was Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Haiti. And they say, hey, we're gonna give you an additional 20,000 visas usually for the year. Those visas are going to be available, um, and additional returning worker visas are gonna be available, made available sometime in November for start dates and they can be used for start dates in December, January, February. If you're thinking about that, then you should really get your prevailing wage in immediately because prevailing wage takes 36 days. So you're gonna want that back in early October if you're looking to file, let's say, a December uh, starting application. Okay, so to recap, 
22,673 certifications have already been given out by the DOL. That leaves about 15,000 on the table for people who need a new visa. We still think the cap is September 18th, 2024, though they that might move earlier, and if it does, I'll tell you in the next report. Those who are thinking about an April 1st start date should file their prevailing wages now, you can. And those thinking about a December or a January, February start date should really file their prevailing wages immediately. And then finally, if you are even filed your DOL applications between July 7th and July 20th, if you received a notice of acceptance, you know, about a week ago, then you will be in competition for some of those new visas. So good job. That's it. That's the H2B report. As always, if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. My name is Damien DeNoble, and we'll see you next week.